We got the here we go from Fabrizio Romano. Come on, boys and girls. Dragerson is in. Was it ever in doubt? Boy, I was sweating. People already were calling me out for going early yesterday with yesterday morning's video. All in good, listen, all in good spirit. And rightly so, man, because Dragerson, it looked like there was going to be a late onslaught from Bayern Munich to try and get their man in. And listen, it's undeniable. It's undeniable. You are, right, mate. It's undeniable that it was going to, we was going to be in the, it, it, <laughs> Well, we, I was going to be in the mud for going early. But it wasn't me that I was going by the report, you know, Romano, Di Marzio, uh, uh, the, the, uh, I've forgotten the guy's name. Uh, let me write, I've got it here. Florian Plettenberg had also um, commented that, you know, he did, that was coming. So I went on that vibe because these guys are normally reliable sources. But, you know, it was a bit of a sweat, but we got the here we go from Fabrizio Romano this morning saying that Dragerson ends, but the things get better. By the way, good morning. Good morning to you all. Welcome to Tottenham Away, guy. Welcome to this good morning, Tottenham Away. Listen, it's going to be one of them videos there. I'm just buzzing because not only Dragerson's coming in, Eric Dyer looks like he's now going to go to Bayern Munich. So... And and Jed Spence is going to go out and line to Genoa, so it's it's got this massive little full circle, really. So uh, Jed Spence will go on loan. They play with five at the back, so he's going to be used as a wing back. So he doesn't directly replace Dragerson, but he will occupy a spot. He's somebody that they wanted or needed, so he's going to go out there. Dragerson coming to us, and Bayern Munich having failed to nick Dragerson off us, is now going to turn their attention to Eric Dyer. What a mate, that is massive. That is massive. That is big, big news, guys. And do you know what? That's that's two in what we the 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 ninth, tenth of January today. Tenth. Tenth of January. We've got two players in already, one for the forward line, one for the back. Now I think we need some in the midfield. I've always said it. We've got time now to get someone in midfield. We're not desperate to bring a midfielder in. But uh, like I said yesterday, an a, a, a midfielder that can give us goals. Saar's going to be missing for a little while now. Bissouma is not somebody, uh, or Benton can really, is not someone we can really turn to to get us goals. Uh, Lascelles and, and Madison will chip in. But I feel like if we can get a box-to-box, -box, someone that can actually also deliver a shot, you know, from outside the box because you saw that there, there's going to be games, guys, like the one that we face against Burnley where teams will come and defend low block and you've got to try and play in and around them and try and score that way. Sometimes it's not always possible. So the only solution outside of that is a shot from range. I feel like we need a player with those characteristics. Also, and lastly, I would add, if, if that player can bring in um, a different dynamic in terms of set pieces. Not, I'm not talking about delivering corners, but free kicks from outside the box because we don't score many. We don't score free kicks, um, direct free kicks. So someone with those characteristics. I know Gallagher has been spoken about. I know and many of you, some are, some are not in favour of bringing Gallagher in, but he does have the goal in him. He can take free kicks. He's good at free kicks as well. Um, I'm not saying him, but someone in that, that mould. Calvin Phillips is another one. Although he hasn't played in the last couple of years regularly um, for City, we know we know that he's you know he proved for England in in the, in the last years that he was he was a good good player. Two years on, nearly three you know two and a half years on, is he still that player? Can he still play at that level? I don't know, guys. And but like I said, in the market. In, in transfer market, you're only going to get two types of players. One that ain't playing regularly for his team and, and, and wants to go else and play somewhere else. You might be able to get a good deal in that. And that, and that, and that is the viable option there. The second viable option is you've got to pay the full price that the club, that the player that the club he's playing for, perhaps don't want to deprive themselves um, from him. But if you put the money up in the way that we did for Dragos in, for, um, in Genoa, and drug, listen, Genoa didn't want to get rid of him, but the prize, if they, if they get another, you know, they get an offer that is good enough to prize him away, they will give him to you. So that's the two types of uh, signings that you're going to get: pay the full money or over the odds, or 
a player that isn't playing that often that the club's trying to get rid of and and the move of that. Or you get this scenario where we just did a Jed Spence, Dyer, you know, Dyer and, and Dragons, and you get a full circle there where everyone gets their, their player. Mate, it, I'm, I don't know what to say, guys. I'm buzzing about this. We need to get, like I said, a midfielder in, and then oh, really the focus has to then go and getting players out. We've got players who are like Brian Hill, um, with 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 uh, Ver, uh, you know, with Timo Werner coming in. His football time is going to be even more limited. Um, Dyer was obviously one foot out of the door. Jed Spence. So, and Don Belly and all those players that they're, they're potentially coming back. Those are the kind of players. Tanganga, who you know looks like he's heading back as well. So those are the kind of players that we need to sort out and get shipped out um, in one way or another. Loan, whatever. So there's a lot to do, guys. But today's big. Not only for the fact that we've got the here we go from Romano, but Eric Dyer could be heading to Bayern Munich with Jess Spence also on loan to Genoa. Big big news. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, comment and subscribe as always. Forever always. Come on you Spurs.